God your presence, let our hearts and minds be stirred. Nourish us with sacred story, till we claim it as our own. Teach us through this holy banquet how to make love's victory known. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Ngayon po, 21st Sunday, our liturgical year, August 22. Prepare ourselves, celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sins, be truly sorry for them. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us everlasting life. Amen. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You are seated right on the Father and to seed for us, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. The Almighty God of mercy must forgive us our sins, bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Joshua calls on all the tribes of Israel to renew their covenant with the Lord. If the people recognize the Lord as their Savior and protector, then they have to forsake the idols of their pagan neighbors. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem, summoning their elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. When they stood in ranks before God, Joshua addressed all the people, If it does not please you to serve the Lord, decide today whom you will serve. The gods your fathers served beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose country you are now dwelling. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. But the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord, 
for the service of other gods. For it was the Lord our God who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, out of a state of slavery. He performed those great miracles before our very eyes and protected us along our entire journey and among the peoples through whom we passed. Therefore, we also will serve the Lord, for He is our God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in his spirit, he saves. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Many are the troubles of the just one, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. He watches over all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. If we submit ourselves to the Lord Jesus, then we show him our reverence by obeying his commandments. In the case of husbands and wives, the Lord commands them to love one another. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is head of the church, he himself the savior of the body. As the church is subordinate to Christ, so wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over to, for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the church. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of Jesus' disciples who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? 
Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I've spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason, I've told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted to him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So, my own 21st Sunday of our liturgical year, Ordinary Time. Sabi ng Panginoon, hindi tayo iniiwanan ni Minsan. Ni Minsan, andyan siya sa tabi natin. At kung tayo ay nasa kalinisan ng ating kaluluwa, nasa loob natin. Ganyan tayo kamahal ng Panginoon. Kaya gusto niyang after a short time ng ating buhay dito sa mundo, tayo ay aakyat and to be with Him forever. Ganon kamahal tayo ng Panginoon. Depende sa ating paniniwala. Faith. Ang faith natin ay dapat kagaya ng pagtabi Pag-upo ng satabi natin ng Panginoon. 24-7. Kung ang Panginoon ay nasa tabi natin 24-7, ang problema ay tayo. Sa dami ng inaatupag, dami ng iniisip, lalo't lalo na pang sarili, Mag-isip tayo na mabuti kung siya ay 24-7 sa ating tabi, tayo lang ang hindi nakakapansin. Diyan tayo talo, kulang. It, it is because Walang disiplina ang ating isipan, ang ating utak. Maraming pinagkakabala. Ngayon lang, nakatingin kayo dito sa altar kung saan-saan tumatakbo ang utak doon sa bahay pa. Ano kaya? Sino kaya ang tumawag? Mabuti na lang wala sa inyo nagbukas ng cellphone ngayon. Medyo mahiya naman tayo sa Panginoon. Konting respeto. Dito ngayon, sa inyong harap, ang Panginoon sa kanan, ang kanyang ina sa kaliwa. 
mother and child, mother and son. Dito sa dalawa, tayo kakapit at hindi tayo bibitaw. We have always to be conscious of His presence, of the presence of the Blessed Mother. Para naman tayo'y matuto, rumispeto sa kanilang presence. 24-7 that will require discipline ng ating pag-iisip, ng ating puso. Ano ba talaga ang gusto natin? Gusto ng Panginoon tayo'y umakyat sa Kanya. Pero tayo'y naglalagay ng balakin, ng obstacles para tayo'y nahihirapan mag-concentrate sa mga bagay ng langit. Faith is luck requires constant discernment and decision making. Constant discernment. Importante ang word doon, constant. Discernment. Iniisip natin parati ang ating paniniwala. Dito sa Gospel, maraming hindi kaya sumunod sa Panginoon. Umalis. Mag-ingat tayo na tayo ay hindi kagaya ng umalis sa Kanya. Bumitaw sa Kanya. Isipin natin mabuti. Our relationship with God is faith and becomes vital and compelling when we are most helpless and hopeless. Dumarating ang panahon na yan na tayo'y talagang wala ng pag-asa. Hirap na hirap. Hindi na kaya. Anong ating gagawin? Tayo'y tatakbo doon kung sino ang talagang kakatulong sa atin. Siya lang. Hindi na iba. Hindi na sa kapitbahay. Hindi na sa katabi. Sa Panginoon. Yan ang buhay. Nagparati tayong iniisip. Let us always examine our conscience. Examine ourselves. Para naman tayo matuto sumunod kung saan niya tinuturo ang ating daanan. We all stand for the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through the name of things were made for us men and for our salvation, he came, he came down from heaven, heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he was crucified, he suffered death and was buried, rose again the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the faithful. Let us place our trust in the Father, who is ever faithful to his people in need. May he look upon us with kindness as we say, Lord, show us your kindness. Lord, show us your kindness. May our church leaders remain in their call to humility and service. May they live in Christ's truth and help unbelievers to seek God's will, we pray. Lord, show us your kindness. May our political and civil leaders always opt for what is right and just, and not succumb to the temptations of power, influence, and financial gain, we pray. Lord, show us your kindness. May all peoples find secure hope in the words of Jesus, the words of eternal life, as we go through this pressing time of crisis, we pray. Lord, show us your kindness. May the Lord grant help to the needs of our sick brethren, especially those who suffer in any way because of the pandemic, we pray. Lord, show us your kindness. May our beloved dead see the hope of eternal life in the promise of Jesus' resurrection, we pray. Lord, show us your kindness. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Pagdasal po natin ang ating conversion of sinners. Kasama tayo doon. At sana'y hindi natin nakakalimutan na panahon na mangumpisa para mayayos ang ating konsyensya. We pray, Lord, show us your kindness. Father, your kindness and love surpass all our expectations. Hear our prayers, make us shares in the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. sacrifice may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let's Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly really right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, with the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise with joy as we proclaim holy found of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray, sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, took bread giving thanks, broke it, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <laughs> Similar way when supper was ended, to be childish once more giving thanks. He gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For there is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, May be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis Serpo, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand.
Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Grant us a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. It is mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life, eternal life to us to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Peace, new. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, the Dominican community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Davida Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devo devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org, at Online Pamisa, where you will find available online and other options for the nation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the Electronic Souvenir Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness. Pour out His saving wisdom upon you. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith. Make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself. Show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Blessing of the sick po. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength, support, and our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from our illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that it is your knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing religious articles in memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. To the honor and glory of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manoah. May these rosaries, images, or their articles be blessed, made holy, in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God.